Well, y'all, uh, we're here out in the garage uh, just doing a little test fitting. I just, I, I couldn't wait, man. I had to just try to try to rig this up. I, I got the uh, stub axle literally just clamped on to the yoke. Um, you know, uh, ride height, not really mattering if it's in the middle there or not. Just trying to find out if our, how, how, how close we are with our angle on the, uh, the grind on the angle on the stub axle. Um, so we, we, we shimmed up one side, we stuck the other kingpin up through and put a spacer on. And then we, uh, we kind of got the stub axle straight by putting this on top of that little spacer there up against the shoulder of the shoulder bolt. And then the same thing up on across the yoke, touching the shoulder of the shoulder bolt there. And then just eyeballing the, uh, the straightness of this, the, 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 the aluminum angle with the uh, straightness of the shaft. Just to, and then we just kind of rig this thing up just to keep it from moving. We uh, put the angle gauge on, on the uh, aluminum and zeroed it and then went ahead and, uh, and set this here. So we're, we're off by a degree, uh, which now it kind of makes sense. You know, I don't know uh, Margay stuff. Uh, you buy Margay pre-made spindles and they're, um, they're, they're at, at, at uh, 10 and 12 degrees. Um, they probably make 15, I think they make 15s as well, uh, but I've never seen a 13. Uh, and, and being that this was an American cart sent to England to be copied, I imagine they wouldn't have tuned on that. They would have just copied it, um, just a straight up copy. So um, we're probably, we're probably at, at a, on a 12 degree angle and uh, we just missed it by a degree. Um, no, we can't just turn the shaft, what we did is uh, we marked, I marked the, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you on this one. I marked the uh, stub axle itself. You see the, uh, the disc grinder marks, that it, the sanding marks that it was left in here. It's not too hard that you use those and, and uh, kind of eyeball the, the center, the lowest point here is gonna be the center. And then the highest point here will be the center on the other side and they line up with the, uh, the pattern of that sander mark, you know what I'm saying? So I just kind of put a mark with it, with the, with, the, uh, with the magic marker, just put a dot top and bottom and guessing as best I could and kind of just, you know, I don't know if you can see that in there, but there's a little dot there. Kind of just tried to get it, you know, top and bottom straight in. And that's where the, um, the, the fixture is going to take care of all that. We won't be able to. We won't be able to do this wrong. Um, is if we weld one, let me. I'll, I'll exaggerate. If we if we weld one straight up, right, um, and then the other one is like twisted a bit, the we, the wheel base is going to be different side to side. Even though you know the kingpins are, are in the same position and the the the, the holes the yokes are in the same spot. If you're to rotate this thing, it's going to go. Just like your angled steering uh, uh, wheel hub, right? It, it's gonna, it's gonna do this here. Um, <clears throat> it's called articulation or something, uh, the, the specific name. But um, when you rotate it, it changes the angle. Um, so we're we're just trying to get an idea of what's going on. So we're, we're within a degree. We're real close. Um, we'll probably put these back in those little fixtures. Go back over to Rich's house and and whack them down because I believe if we get it at zero with no weight, no, no, no pressure on the cart. Um, and once we, once we get it all loaded up, you know, and, and get the load on it, get the driver in it, um, it, it, it should be just a hair, maybe half a degree in, it won't move. It won't move. A, I don't think it'll move a full degree. Um, but, uh, yeah, we, all, all we can do is, is, is simulate at this point, right? Um, we can, we can tack weld everything together and uh, get the wheels tires on it uh put air in the tires and all that and set it on the ground and 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 put some weight in in, in the go-kart itself and see if see if they're moving you know see if they're going to move at all but uh <clears throat> we want the tires straight up and down uh with the cart loaded because we want the we want to use all the rubber on the tire we don't want to be burning up the inside of the tire and uh you know if we're, if we're burning up the outside of the tire it's not going to handle for nothing um, burning up the inside of the tire, uh, the car will probably handle like a dream, but we're gonna, we're not using all the rubber. And we want the, we want the tire straight up and down. We want, we only want the, uh, the camber to change as it's turning. 
Um, as, you, as you can see, when you turn this thing, uh, it's literally gonna go uphill when it turns forward and downhill because of the angle of the kingpin, right? And like I said, when you turn this thing uphill and downhill, when you rotate this this stub axle, that, that camber angle is gonna change. So let, we'll just let that do its work and we'll try to get these things put together a straight flat square and make sure that uh, you know we don't have the tires tipping in or out once uh, once they're all welded together. Um, you really don't want to get into welding it all together and then finding out that the heat had pulled it one way or the other and having to run a, a, a cutoff wheel. You know, you get a real thin little cutoff wheel and run it right, you know, run it in here and then, and then tweak this thing and then weld it back up. I mean, we may have to, I, 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 I never say never, but uh, so here we are. We're just, just trying to get an eyeball. We're real, real close. Real, real close. One degree down, one degree out on the top of the tire is, uh, is the way we're sitting right now. Um, I go ahead and remove this thing. Uh, and uh, maybe we can eyeball how it looks compared to that rear axle. You know, just look straight down with our eye. And uh, yeah, it's, it's visibly... Man, it's real close, but it is visibly down just a little bit on the outside. So um, here you go. Can a human eye see a, see one degree? You're darn right. I mean, some of you out there say, "Oh, I can see a half degree. I can see a you know whatever." Rock and roll. It's all good. But uh, this is just you know little little mock up, little setup. Uh, just trying to get our first look at at uh, how how close we were. And yeah, about one degree off. I won't go ahead and weld it at this point, but I'm I'm not. I'm not too disappointed with only being off by a degree, you know. Um, it'll take just a very, just one little, just one little touch to get these things uh, in shape. So what we'll do is we'll put them back in those little fixtures. We'll make sure we get uh, we get them straight, you know, straight down, get the angle right, 90 degrees from the, the bed of the sander and, and all that. And we'll just, we'll keep checking them like we did uh, to get 13 degrees, to get 12 degrees, and, and we should be good to go. So, uh... That's it, playing around out in the garage. There again, and the niece and nephew are next door after school. They're full of piss and vinegar, full of energy. They're out there uh, chasing each other around, throwing dirt and rocks at one another. They got one of their buddies over there, uh, all kinds of chaos going on over there. So near the rocks, hitting the back of the garage over here every now and again, too. I might have to get out there and be Uncle Bob and tear it up a little bit. But, um, yeah, there we go. We're uh, playing around a little bit. We're uh, just uh, uh, try, trying to get uh, trying to get a head start on, you know, where we need to go from here. And that's it, folks. We'll bring you some more later. Talk to y'all.